Kevin here from Epic Gardening. So today we're sitting in front of a pile of dragon fruit cuttings. So I just did some pruning on my dragon fruit to remove some of this growth that wasn't going to serve that plant and shape that plant up a little bit. But then the question becomes, let's not, let's not waste these, let's actually use these and create some new dragon fruit. So first thing I would highly recommend when you're doing dragon fruit is wear some gloves. They have these gnarly spines on the ridges of their stems that are not that visible but are exceptionally sharp so definitely wear some gloves when you're doing this now when we're talking about taking the cutting in the first place i do have a little bit of video footage about that but basically you're just going to take it off where the stem starts to protrude from the main branch or or where it starts to offshoot but the rooting success doesn't really happen if you leave it like this what i like to do it's somewhat similar to a succulent cutting except for a succulent cutting you really do want all of that leaf tissue to be intact whereas in this particular case this is a stem cutting and you don't want all of it to be intact so what you'll do is you'll come through and this is actually a really good size to take a cutting because you can plop this in it's not going to topple over it's just a really good healthy size to start new new growth but you have to do something first so you have to take some pruning shears and come through and snip off maybe i would say about an inch or so of the bottom growth here because it's a lot harder for it to root from this little section than it is to root from this section. So you come through, and actually I kind of need bigger pruning shears. So maybe I'll, for this one, I'll do it on a smaller one. Let's do this one. So you, <laughs> you'll come through, and you'll come through and just chop it off right about there. So you have this kind of triangular looking shape to the dragon fruit. But the problem then is this is, this is new, tissue this is new growth so you want to let this dry a little bit so what i like to do is i like to let this dry i'm actually going to cut a little bit more off um, you want to let this dry for about three days or so until it's completely scabbed over and at that point then you can put it down maybe two to three inches or so into some fresh mix and with a dragon fruit you can honestly use pretty much straight up potting mix with a little bit of your native soil mixed in it can handle a little clay I, i've found uh, so that's what you do so we're going to process the rest of these we're going to pot these up and then we'll come back and see how our rooting success has gone and, and i gotta say guys the gloves are so crucial for this because without them you would be spiking yourself out of control and you'd be you'd be in dire straits i'll just tell you that much and i know that because when i took a pruning I can actually feel it in my finger right now. When I took a pruning earlier outside, I stabbed my fingernail in between the spike and my actual finger, and I hate, I hated my life for about 10 seconds. It was the most painful thing of all time. But let's go ahead and take the rest of these, and we will pot them up. Pro tip if you're having a hard time getting some pruning shears around some of those thicker stems is actually just to use a chef's knife. A sterilized chef's knife is come through and just give it a nice little little chop through and it's just make short work of it. So fun tip, helps out, saves you a little bit of time and, and struggle. Just process the rest of these guys and we're off to the races. It's been a couple of days now. We've let the cuttings that we made kind of scab over and dry out a little bit, which is fantastic. Otherwise, like I said, they would rot. And really, now it's really just about potting it up, watering it in, and then waiting. You know, dragon fruit can be slow to root, but once it roots, it's then a very vigorous grower. So as you can see, these are nice and calloused over. I've got these little pots here. You can use whatever you wish, but I would say, you know, when you're potting them up, at least give them something with this much volume so they can really get going. And then as far as soil mix, you could of course always refer to my very first video I ever did on dragon fruit where I was potting up cuttings in the first place. But I'm going to be using this one from my friend over at Alaki Gardens. So it's basically just a really well-balanced fertile potting mix. And it's a little bit high in perlite, which I kind of prefer because, you know, you do want maybe like a 20-ish percent cactus mix, but a lot of native soil in here, a lot of good amendments. And so all we're doing here is just scooping some in and then we'll grab our little shovel here and we will put the rest in and that's really it so i want to make sure that i go ahead and fill it in to the right amount so we want to make sure and get our dragon fruit cutting firmly secured in there so i like to put it maybe three inches or so into the soil so here's the soil surface right here and we've got 
our first cutting going in. I'm gonna go here, secure it nice, nicely, give it a little depression, and we'll backfill around it, and then we'll give it a nice and healthy water in. And really, that's it as far as taking a dragon fruit cutting. It is that simple. I will say that just exercise some patience when you're looking for these to actually root out, because that can actually take some time. And don't overwater. Don't think that you have to water like crazy. Sometimes if you just leave a dragon fruit out in a, even a semi-moist environment, it'll start to throw roots out in the air. So you don't need to be too, too crazy with these. But you do, of course, need to give them that perfect growing condition that they prefer. So you can see just packing around lightly, nothing crazy, not, not over compacting, but I just wanna make sure that there's nice firm soil connection for when I water in. I'm gonna pot the rest of these up and we'll see what that looks like. Okay, our Dragon Fruit Empire has been created. It's time to give these a light water in, nothing too crazy. You don't want to soak it and then create the rot that we let it dry out to prevent, right? So we just give it a little bit of water. Exercise a little bit of patience because these can be a little slow. You know, a couple weeks is normal. So I wouldn't stress out too much if it's taking a little bit of time. And really the way to know is you'll give it a light tug and it won't move out of the soil, but the soil, you'll feel that kind of pull, which means that new roots have been created, they're sinking their way into the soil, and they're giving themselves a nice new home. At this point, our job is done, guys. Really hope you enjoyed the video, quick and easy dragon fruit propagation so if you have a plant you'd like to make some for friends or perhaps you have a friend who will allow you to come over and take one and root it up yourself now you can have an amazing amazing dragon fruit plant and I highly encourage you to check out my growing playlist of dragon fruit that I grew from cuttings that are just about this size and so once they root like I said they go crazy and there's a lot of different growing techniques and methods you can use to get fruit pretty quickly so Feel free to check that out. There's a playlist link up here. And until next time, good luck in the garden and keep on growing.